gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tins here. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look! Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? <sighs> Marlon? <gasps> Stay back. Said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you, is all. Here, I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rose. Shh. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. She'll lie down, Rosie. So cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, what a dick. Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. 
had plenty of vegetables growing, but it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part. That's the only road that leads in and out of Ericsson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. Wanted this place to be hard to find. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, I got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. And what's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place is a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years and food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. Thanks, Clementine. I appreciate that. I really do. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well. A sim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, <laughs> as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. 
skilled in the craft of martial arts. Is he always like this? Like this? You mean awesome? <laughs> Unfortunately, we got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. What about everyone else? We need to work together as a team. I mean, sure, yeah, sometimes. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. I play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Shh, shut up a second. He's like a walker pinata. Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Oh, you can starve. So dramatic. Wanna take a swing? It won't bite. Well, that guy would, but the bat won't. You know what I mean? You get it? Uh, all right, I'll take one swing. Now that's what I'm talking about. Sorry about a sim. He's not always so lame. But lucky for you, this is team fun. Team fun? That's right, team fun. And your membership has just been accepted. Now, for our first order of business, a little batting practice. <laughs> Woo! If the Olympics were still a thing, you'd get a silver, no question. A silver, huh? Well, I mean, that could have been a lucky shot. All right, now you just went and earned yourself a gold. Damn. All right, you gotta make this one count. Come on, Clem. <laughs> Home run. All right, all right, show's over. See, don't you feel a little better now that you blew off some steam? You need to get that energy out every now and again. Have some fun. Yeah, actually, I think I needed that. Well, I'm glad you got it. Life's too short to be a stress ball all the time. A sim loves giving me crap about having a good time. Always telling me I'm not thinking long term. We need to guarantee our future. All that horse shit. But I tell him right back. There's only one guarantee. This moment. That's the only thing you got. Only thing any of us got. Might as well enjoy it. I'll untie our friend here and reset the snare if you go check on a sim. Clem! Clem, come here! Look, it got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why'd it get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. 
We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. Ooh. You know, there really isn't a lot of meat on that. People need the food. Today. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't gonna be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. It's clear. Holy shit! This place is wrecked! All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. F fuck. Come on, come on. <sighs> Hey, easy. We'll still find enough food to get us just through Just shut the... the fuck up, okay? Brody, just chill. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Alright, fine. Lead the way. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. 
Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. We could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. Okay, Prince Charming, let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine, I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract him until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! second. We may not have a second. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick.
These will be perfect. Clint, look. Try it out. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. What do you want? I just want food. Same reason you're here. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got extra lucky. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group? I count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking maybe more? Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, get down! <laughs> <laughs> Take a bag and fill it up. Listening to me, Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. It 
take y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet help, too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge! What the hell were you thinking? <sighs> this is fucked. If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! It just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <clears throat> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too.
A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can, can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And Lewis let us hit the walker like a pin... A, a pin... Piñata. Yeah. And that was scary, but it was fun. It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. <sighs> so cute. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks.
What the hell? There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Quiet again. Just a little farther. Basement. This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. Cellar door out in the yard. entrance to the basement around here. Sure was them. She also said he got bit, which means he ain't gonna bother us. You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back, and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You oh, know that. Shit! Nothing to you. God damn it, keep it. There you go again, getting so mad. What do you want me to do? You're making me mad. Oh, no, we have to tell the others about what you did. Who's there? Show yourself! Clem! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. 
You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history! Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Damn, Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed of what- Shut up! What'd you say? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're gonna be okay. I promise. God damn it! Hell! Why did you say that, Brian? I told you not to say it! How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? it in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. work.
AJ, put the gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me! Where is she? she she's in the basement. She, she murdered Brody. What? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? That's bullshit, Marlin! Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open! That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! What did you do? We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us! Guns being pulled and murder! Well, fuck them! Fuck! Marlin! Jesus Christ! You shoot me? What do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? He won't do it, because he needs us alive! Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety! The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie! Oh my god! Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me? Your friend? did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. I hate to say it, but we don't. Lewis, don't let him do this. Oh no, I am not involved. What? I like you, Clem, but I... Not me. I'm sorry. You're, uh, on your own. I'm sorry. You let him shoot me. Really? Just so you don't have to get involved. I thought you were more than that. Shit. Marlin, come on, man. Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody! We can't let her walk away. Clem, I... I, I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. He didn't trust you with the truth. He lied to you about the twins. He doesn't deserve your trust. Shut the fuck up! You don't know what you're doing, man. Come on, dude, just drop the gun. This is how adults do things, not us. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! How does pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, i do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. 
I wanted to get them states some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. The Nerva. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Don't. the head. <laughs> 